So we're going to take a look at how to possibly fix an issue where Mac computers cannot connect to Adobe Live Lesson Room. So you'll know you have a Mac or an Apple computer if you have the little Apple icon in the upper left hand corner of your screen. So what we want to do is we want to, after you've tried to connect to Adobe Connect or the Live Lesson Room and you're not able to get in, the first thing we want to do is to go to your internet browser and you want to close it out and click Safari or if you're using Chrome or Firefox click on Chrome or Firefox and click quit. We'll know that we've quit out of our internet browser if there's no little gray dot below it. So you notice there's no gray dot below this anymore that means we've completely exited out of our browser in this case Safari. Now that we've exited out of our browser, what we want to do is we want to go and click on this little magnifying glass in the upper right hand corner of your screen. Click on the magnifying glass and in the magnifying glass type in keychain access. Now you might not have to type all of it in because it automatically recognizes what I want. So I'm going to type in or press enter for keychain access. Now we want to click on login in the upper left hand corner. You'll notice that mine is unlocked. If you click on this and it's locked, it may make you put in an administrator's password. Now an administrator is somebody who has complete control over the computer. So if you're a student and your parents have set up the computer for you, you might have to ask them to put in their password. You could try putting in yours to see if it works too. Now that we've unlocked it, and honestly if that doesn't work I wouldn't worry too much about it right now because when we make our changes it's going to ask for your password again anyways. So we're going to come all the way down on the left hand side to category and scroll on down to where it says certificates. Click on certificates. Now you may see a certificate listed here and the certificate should be a login for Adobe Connect. If you don't see a certificate listed here, there's a chance it may be expired. So we're going to click View and Show. Mine says Hide because I'm already showing expired certificates. But make sure that it says, well, <laughs> it should say Hired Expired Certificates. So let me show you this again. So click View, click Show Expired Certificates. And hopefully that will show up right here as a certificate. Once you see the certificate you want, I'm going to double click it, and this window should show up right here. We want to locate on the left hand side of the screen the word trust. Click on the arrow to the left of the word trust. We're given several options, and we want to click on the very first option when using this certificate. We're going to click on that, and we're going to click always trust. Once you've done that, you can exit out of the window and you should possibly be given a prompt to allow a setting to the certificate trust using your administrative password. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. All right, so I've changed the trust settings for this certificate and you notice that it's changed. In your case, it'll probably be a red X. But mine changed from a green check to this nice little blue plus sign. So it's actually a white plus instead of a blue circle. The white plus instead of a blue circle means that you've chosen to trust the certificate. At this point, it's a great idea to go ahead and try to log back into the Adobe Live Lesson Room screen and see if it allows you to connect. If not, we've got a couple of other possible solutions surrounding these certificates which seem to be causing the issue that we can try with you. So please reach out if this does not work for you and I look forward to talking to you soon. Thank you for watching the video and I look forward to catching you in the next one.